ganun din sa FDA. Uh, was the gentleman from FDA? Sir, babantayan kita. Kasi po, we're talking of billions and billions of pesos na nasayang po, na baliwala ng mga medisina dahil po sa kapabayaan ng mga taga-DOH for years and years. If I'm not mistaken, Mr. President, umabot pa ata sa more than 20 billion pesos ng mga medicines na nag-expire sa mga bodega ng DOH dahil sa kapabayaan po ng mga tauhan nila sa DOH. I need to know who are those people that were responsible at ano po, where are they now? At ano po ang parusa ang ipinataw sa kanila? Alin po yung part na yon yung nag-expire yung na, na, yung na, na, po? Na, na, nag-expire na yung mga gamot for so many years, paulit-ulit yes. na naman po, and we're talking of millions and millions of pesos worth of medicines. So ano pong sistema that, that uh, was put in place to ensure that this is not gonna happen again? This was years before COVID ah, time. Yes okay, so wag po dapat binabanggit ng DOH, wag nilang gawing dahilan, ang COVID. At wag din po nilang dahil, gawin dahilan ang vaccine. Na nabiblame patuloy itong mga recipient dahil parang ayaw nila magpa-vaccine, kinukompare sa vaccine, ayaw nila magpa-vaccine, kaya hindi nila nakukuha yung gamot. So like I said, sa apples and oranges, no comparison. Now, sagutin well, lang po sana. Sir, may I just, because ako ho yung nagbigay ng example. So kung ang example na apples for oranges ay eh, hindi ho naging sapat sa inyo, ako ho ang umaako nun because okay. I was the one who came up Thank with you. the comparison. Thank you, Mr. The President. reason why I gave that comparison, sir, because the logistics issue is the same. The inventory issue is the same. It may serve a different purpose. It may be... It may be administered differently, but there are common uh, issues that uh, affect the delivery and the expiration. Yun ho ang reason kung ba't ko I apologize na para ho sa ating kasamahan, eh hindi ho apples for apples yung aking response. But it is my response, Your Honor, and not uh, DOH. Near expiry, bakit po pinabayaan na umabot sa ganong stage? Sana po bago dumating sa maging near expiry yung gamot na yon. sana po yan po yung na-dispose of, nabigay na po doon sa mga recipient. So why, why, bakit po paabutin pa sa ganong sitwasyon? They have an agreement with the suppliers to exchange this. So technically, for most, and I will verify with the secretary, for most medicines, it doesn't, hindi to tapon sa atin kasi papalitan naman po ng supplier yan. Well, those people that were, that, was, that were responsible for the negligence and magpupahid din po kayo sa akin ng dokumento kung ano po ang ginawa niyo sa mga tauhang niyo yun, ano po yung mga pinato niyo pong parusa. Meron na ho ba kayong dokumentong yon na ni-request po namin? Kasi po, we're talking of billions and billions of pesos na nasayang po na baliwala ng mga medisina dahil po sa kapabayaan ng mga taga-DOH for years and years. If I'm not mistaken, Mr. President, umabot pa ata sa more than 20 billion pesos ng mga medicines na nag-expire sa mga bodega ng DOH dahil sa kapabayaan po ng mga tauhan nila sa DOH. I need to know who are those people that were responsible at ano po, where are they now? At ano po ang parusa ang ipinataw sa kanila? Uh, Mr. President, um, while the DOH is uh, putting together some of the information that his honor requests, uh, may I just put on record in response also to the question that um, the practice, your honor, is that when there are medicines that are about to expire, the supplier has a, they have an agreement with the suppliers to exchange this. So, Technically, for most, and I will verify with the secretary, for most medicines, it doesn't, hindi to tapon sa atin kasi papalitan naman po ng supplier yan. I've also verified this with, uh, just again, sorry for the lack of a better example, but uh, the mayor of Taguig City, my sister-in-law, na ganun din ang practice nila. Yung napoprocure nilang medicine, um, those that are about to expire, pinapalitan po ng supplier. Further, DOH states that 
uh, what they also do, pag nakita nilang slow moving ang particular na medicine, they transfer them to the highly burdened areas where it is normally consumed faster. So they are now in the process of, they want to be able to build more warehouses around the Philippines to reduce distribution delays. Uh, on that note, let me get the additional information that is available to us. Yes, um, Mr. President, uh, during the pandemic, there were really uh, supply chain issues. And for that reason, there were many instances where yung medicines were either not delivered where they needed, where they were needed. And then there are also situations where you cannot say that it was an over-delivery, but because depending on the medicine, kung hindi lumalabas po ng bahay yung senior citizen, hindi pumupunta sa hospital, let's say, sabi mo ng cancer drugs yon, hindi nila na-avail. So talagang nangyari po yan sa atin during the pandemic. But now po that we are almost back to normal, normal um, uh, back to business, back, back to the usual uh, uh, practices, um, there is hardly any uh, medicines that are expiring precisely because of this practice now in place that the suppliers uh, exchange it. And this is written into every contract now that they are entering in with new suppliers. So I believe that's a good thing. Kasi dinatnan ko din po, Mr. President, uh, colleagues, yung sitwasyon na ang daming natatambak na, na drugs. Uh, let me just see if there's anything else I have to add. Okay. 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 So to be more, to give more details, Your Honor, yung medicines po na near expiry were actually pulled out by the supplier and they were issued credit memos. And this information, Your Honor, was submitted to His Honor's office uh, after the hearing. Okay. Thank you, Mr. President. Uh, near expiry, bakit po pinabayaan na umabot sa ganong stage? Sana po bago dumating sa maging near expiry yung gamot na yon. sana po yan po yung na-dispose of, nabigay na po doon sa mga recipient. So why, why, bakit po paabutin pa sa ganong sitwasyon? Does it means na overstock? Sumobra po yung pagbili ng mga gamot natin, kaya hindi ho agad na-dispatch siya. Sana po, na-deliver this, these medicines should have yes. been delivered on time. Yes. In a timely manner because we're talking about medicines here. Medicine yes. saves people's lives. Of course, Your Honor. We, we note His Honor's concern. Like uh, uh, we explained during the interpolation with Senator, the Deputy Minority Floor Leader, uh, it is the job of uh, DOH to ensure that the medicines needed are available. But there are instances, and let's just use COVID as uh, an example because that is the example we gave the Deputy Minority Leader. Na, in as much as gusto nila lahat magpa-booster, yung uptake ng booster shot wasn't as high as we would want. But it is your duty to have that stock on hand. So with the upcoming, I hope it will not be an epidemic, but no one has asked the question, so I will volunteer the information. Yung ho dito sa measles outbreak, polio outbreak, WHO has predicted, and sadly the Philippines is on top of the list dahil napakaraming batang Pilipino na hindi nakakuha ng kanilang regular shots. Kailangan po ready sila. So if the time would come na hindi pa rin nagamit yon, it was still their job, Your Honor, to have those stocks available. What they could have done and what I, they are aware of because they gave me a list of things that they are doing to improve the consumption of the medicines and uh, reduce the, the um, unuse is to increase the campaign 
uh, for these vaccinations. I'm talking about vaccinations. Iba naman ho yung kaso nung mga, uh, well, the example again with the deputy minority leader was yung uh, HIV medication. During the pandemic, maraming hindi kumuha nung kanilang regular medication. So, dinideliver na nila yon house to house. So, his honor's concern is very valid. But the reality is, when they say near expiration, uh, within the, let's say, six months, no? Kasi, uh, how many years yung normal life? Anywhere from two to five? Four months. Four months. May 24 months, may 36 years. 36 years. 36 months. Uh, yung anim na buwan, mamumove pa nila yon. O di kaya, um, alam nila, based on practice, magagamit. Kaya yung sinabi ko din po kay Deputy Minority Leader, yung ini-improve din nila is yung inventory management and then yung reporting para talagang namumove ho yung mga um, drugs to the areas that they are most needed. But it's it's impossible to predict to the, to the exact number kasi hindi mo rin naman sure kung sino yung papasok na next na patient na mga ngailangan ng ganon. But meron naman silang estimates and that's why they have to move them around fast. And His Honor's concern is very well taken. Okay, Mr. President, uh, ginagamit even the last hearing, palaging sinasambit yung COVID and vaccines. It's orange and apples and oranges. No comparison. Kasi po, hindi naman to vaccine. At at that time, at yung mga binabanggit ko rito na mga near expiry, uh, mga medicines na mag-expire, hindi po to during COVID. This was years before COVID time. Okay, so wag po dapat binabanggit ng DOH, wag nilang gawing dahilan ang COVID. At wag din po nilang dahil, gawin dahilan ang vaccine. Na nabiblame patuloy itong mga recipient dahil parang ayaw nila magpa-vaccine, kinukompare sa vaccine, ayaw nila magpa-vaccine, kaya hindi nila nakukuha yung gamot. So like I said, apples and oranges, no comparison. Now, sagutin well, lang po sana. Sir, may I just, because ako ho yung nagbigay ng example. So kung ang example na apples for oranges ay eh, hindi ho naging sapat sa inyo, ako ho ang umaako nun because okay. I was the one who came up Thank with you. the comparison. Thank you, Mr. The President. reason why I gave that comparison, sir, because the logistics issue is the same. The inventory issue is the same. It may serve a different purpose. It may be... It may be administered differently, but there are common uh, issues that uh, affect the delivery and the expiration. Yun ho ang reason kung bakit okay, pinanggit. Okay. I apologize na para ho sa ating kasamahan, eh hindi ho apples for apples yung aking response. But it is my response, Your Honor, and not uh, DOH. Thank you, Mr. And President. And then hindi din ho nila dinahilan uh, ang COVID. Again, ako lang din ho ang nagbigay ng explanation na yun uh, just to emphasize na naging malaking problema talaga sa kanila yung um, pag-determine ng uh, inventory during the, well, um, exacerbated during COVID, but His Honor is absolutely correct. This problem has existed long ago. Our, our mistake here in um, explaining the issue was I limited my explanation to during COVID, but His Honor is absolutely correct. Prior pa to COVID yung problem. Thank but you. on that note, that problem they are saying now no longer exists because of the reasons I gave, Your Honors, so, Mr. President. Thank you, Mr. President. So ano pong nagawa, ano pong uh, ginawa uh, ng DOH? na para ma, ma karon po ng assurance tayong lahat na this will never happen again. Alin po yung part na yon yung na, yung na, na yung nag-expire po na, the fact that nag-expire yung mga gamot for so many years pa ulit-ulit yes. na naman po and we're talking of millions and millions of pesos worth of medicines. So ano pong sistema that, that uh, was put in place to ensure that this is not going to happen again? Well, I've responded to that to your honor. I am happy to repeat it if his honor would like me to repeat my response. My response was that uh, they now have contracts with Contract. uh, the um, the suppliers. Na yung pung mga near expiration, so roughly maybe six months, depending on sa kontrata kung how long nga po yung lifespan ng ano. Med meron silang uh, uh, contract which I had read into the record na bibigyan sila ng pull out yung gamot na yon ng ng supplier and then bibigyan sila ng credit memo. May forms po silang pinapakita sa akin to show that this is in place and I am told na halos lahat na ng suppliers nila ganon narin hu ang kanilang contract. But before okay. they even do that, uh, they will determine kung saan kinakailangan ang supply and they have been moving the supplies to the different locations, different hospitals. Most of the problems that have been uh, documented in the past occur in hospitals and facilities, meaning warehouses and the like, na, na, na 
in their, hospital. in their own hospital kasi siguro walang walang gumamit noon kaya nga ngayon kailangan mabilisan ang uh, sharing of information para mapasa sa ibang facility kung saan ang mga pasyente na nangangailangan okay continue lang po thank you mr president so yan po siguro isa sa mga uh, document na gusto ko pong makuha from the DOH yung buong mga medicines na nag-expire umuntik na mag-expire and about to expire na ma-provide tayo to make sure na yung po inapalitan ng bago mga gamot. Do we have a list of those? Do we have documents pertaining to those medicines na pinalitan po ng manufacturer? Mr. President, I am told by DOH that it has been submitted to His Honor's Office. Nope, we have not. Otherwise, I wouldn't be asking for it today. Yeah. I, I, I just want to show you really something. I'll be happy to. I, I, I am looking, I am reading a call. I have, hold on, I will pull out my glasses. Uh, uh, this is an email. It's an email do dated October 24, addressed to the Honorable Rafi Tulfo, member of the Committee on Finance. Dear Honorable Tulfo, on behalf of the Department of Health, we sincerely express our gratitude for your support during the sponsorship, so-and-so. And, -so. and uh, in accordance with the discussion and key agreements made during the said meeting, they are submitting. Medyo kutol lang. But it was sent, Your Honor, October 24. Is this the name of the... Legislative Liaison Division. Legislative Liaison Division ng Senate? Ah, kayo, kayo nag-send to, to Senator Rafi Tulfo's office. Pakipaho paki, pwede lang. I mean, in good faith lang naman. Pinapakita nila ho itong email na pinadala sa office nyo. Okay. Okay, check nyo naman din yung email kung tama. Minsan, uh, nagkaka-problem tayo because of that. But they're also happy, Your Honor, to receive Thank you. It. Thank you, Mr. President. Dalawa na lamang po. So, how much is the allotted budget for 2023 for the purpose of purchasing new medicines? Medicine. Ng DOH? 